Let us give you our power. <laughs> Soon, you will become unable to resist this intoxicating power. Lady D, she's actually nine feet tall. Hey. She is, she is hey, considered wake up. the tallest tyrant uh, variant yeah, yeah, yeah. in 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 the uh, series history. Crawl out of one hole and into another. You want to tell me what's going on here? Yeah, she tall as fuck. Americano, see? Now what brings a bloke like you to this part of the world? Oh, hey, easy, whoever you are. <sighs> Name's Leon. Came here looking for this girl. Seen her? What, are you supposed to be a cop or something? Nah, you don't look the type. Okay, first off. Maybe. Where the fuck did he pull that picture okay, from? Okay, let off, me guess. How the fuck did Lewis see it? She's the president's daughter? <laughs> That's too good for a guess. Wanna start explaining? Psychic oh yeah, powers. the fuck they did. <laughs> nah. I'm just kidding with you, amigo. That is the ultimate I death by I overheard one of the villagers name. talking something about the president's daughter in the church. This guy got fucked up. And who might you be? Me llamo Luis Serra. I used to be a cop in Madrid. But now I'm just a good-for-nothing guy who happens to be quite the ladies' man. <clears throat> Why'd you quit? Phew, <laughs> policia. You put your life on the line, nobody really appreciates you enough for it. Being a hero isn't what it's cracked up to be anymore. I used to be a cop myself. Only for a day, though. I thought I was bad. Somehow I managed to get myself involved with the incident in Raccoon City on my first day in the force. That is the incident with the viral outbreak, right? I think I might have seen a sample of the virus in a lab at the department. Hey boy. Oh no! Hey. Do something, cop! After you. Now! Okay, that was a complete guess. I hit X and A on my fucking controller and not my computer. <laughs> I did not even touch my keyboard. Why the fuck did it come up on my with my keyboard keys? <sighs> Luis took out like a took off like a bat out of hell. It's Leon. Sorry I couldn't get in touch sooner, but I was a bit tied up. You're okay, right? I'm fine. There was a male civilian held captive. According to him, Ashley's in a church somewhere. What happened to him? He managed to escape. Do you have a fix on the location of that church? He no, fucking took off. But apparently there's a secret passage in the village that leads there. I'm heading back to the village. Like, where the fuck did I did he get his guns from? Like, they don't explain any like and I know I'm bickering over small shit, but like, come on, man. Where the fuck did his guns go? Like, when he got tied up? How the fuck did he get him back? What the fuck? Over here, stranger. stranger. Yeah, in uh, Resident Evil 2 was the the game for the actual citywide outbreak, and he was coming into town on his first day on the force. That's where you met Claire Redfield, Chris's sister from the original game. Go check, uh, seriously, go check out the series that I did for Resident Evil, the remake of one, the remake of two, and the remake of three. It'll, it'll tell you everything you need to know. Although again, that is the, the remake um, lore. Which isn't too far off from the original lore, but they did change some stuff to kind of fit their new narrative, so. But it's not too far off from the original storyline, so. 
Got something that might interest hey. you. <laughs> See your fucking eyeball from here. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. Uh... Thank you. It's less moving for me. I mean, yeah, man, if you want to help me kill your own fucking people, that's fine. Dynamite just a little bit longer. Like, don't make it easy on me or anything. God damn it, they're gonna all my treasure out the fucking window. Well, shit. in front of my rifle, my, my rifle, Jesus Christ, my shotgun. Be my fucking guest. How the fuck you ate one of the faces beyond me, man? Good job. Didn't survive that one. Secondary shots don't hit them, even though I shoot them in the same exact spot. Thanks for a hand, it really helped me out. Oh shit, I forgot to reload. Let's take the first aid. Yeah, that'll do. I was gonna take the one with the yellow in it so that way I can extend my life bar, but we'll wait on that until I get a red. Then we can mix a red, uh, red, uh, herb in there. to your land and now I'm going to kill you. Oh, 
Hello! God damn, he fucked me up. Come on, fuck it! How fucked your face not get exploded? There we go, that's what I was looking for. This is a locker? It is a locker. With a flashbang! Shit at me! The red barrels mean only one thing. Take over. Oh, there's guys up here. I can't see fucking straight. Stand next to that barrel right there, would you? No, you're supposed to stand next to the barrel. See? I made it go boom, and now you went dead. It's two halves of an emblem. I wonder where they go. Die. I do not want to do do that. Here, this isn't fair. Shut his fucking hand off. Run for the door. Actually, no. Climb up here. More stuff to grab. Never mind. I lied. Please jump down into the crowd. Yeah. This crowd control. Let's go. That's how we do it in the States. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I need to stop. I'm gonna get fucking banned from fucking Twitch. 
Now, I should get a trophy for that. I fucking shot it out of the air. That counts. Oh! I hate this part. Shit, they should be able to trigger the traps. And two, I'm about to fucking die. Twice in the arm. He should have fucking dropped it. <laughs> agreed. Agreed. that they don't set off the bear traps kind of pisses me off. Because if I can set them off, why can't they? Is there anything in here? Ho oh, ho! Oh. My question is who the fuck hides ammo in a goddamn fucking boat? Oh. And what looks to be an oven. That's just my question. And how many fucking at? How many fucking scythes are he? Is he holding? Jesus. <clears throat> and why is that spinal not fucking severely hot? Like I just stuck my hand in a goddamn lit oven. And how the fuck did these guys not set off the fucking the bear traps back here? Like the fuck, dude. Like, y'all were standing back here chucking dynamite. Um, guys? I think somebody took a massive crap in your toilet and clogged it. There is water everywhere. up now turn it boom look at that I'm a fucking genius although I will say this fucking genius is starting to fucking hurt we may be calling it after the next chapter it's an insignia key now, see, here's the big cheese. That is, uh, what? Lord Sadler, I believe his name is. The Chief's Notes. As instructed by Lord Sadler. Bingo! I have the agent in confinement alive. Why keep him alive? I do not fully understand the Lord's intentions. <coughs> Excuse me. I would, however, I would, however, think he'd keep them separate, not confined, not confine them together as has been ordered. I don't expect Lewis would trust a stranger, but if by chance they did cooperate, the situation could get a little bit more complicated. If for some reason an unknown third party is involved, I don't think they'd 
let the let a chance like this slip by. But maybe it's all Lord Sadler's ploy, leaving us vulnerable f so that this third party will suff surface. Surface, surface, what the fuck am I reading? <laughs> if they even exist, that is. It's an unlikely possibility, but if a power, prowler, prowler is already among us, then our plans could be ruined. I guess the Lord thinks it's worth the risk if we're able to stop whatever conspiracy is at work. At any rate, it's the Lord's call. We will trust his judgment as always. Interesting. The big, or the big cheese, as Luis likes to call him. You carry the same blood as us, it seems. Nevertheless, you're an outsider. Just remember, if you become unpleasant to our eyes, you'll face severe consequences. What? Same blood? Same, no doubt. I've always played the game all out, and I am here to stay right now. So don't call it a callback.